Australians are very fortunate to have generous station owners who allow free access to their properties. Timbaroo Station is one of these unadvertised places which we discovered by word of mouth. Hey gang. Corella Dam was built in 1956 to provide water for the former Mary Kathleen uranium mine. The mine had a few stops and starts in its time. 1982 saw the final closure of the mine and the dam became a recreational area for the locals. The huge water supply created other attractions, resulting in it becoming a haven for a variety of wildlife. Camping is permitted along its shores, making it ideal to observe the local wildlife close up. Early mornings and late afternoons, pelicans, cormorants and spoonbills work in unison to catch their food, creating a unique spectacle for the observing campers. After the evening fishing, the birds congregate to roost on the little island near the dam wall. A new day and the essential search for food begins again. On the island, groggers dig deep into the mud for mussels their favourite food, opening them by hitting them on a rock. They need to be aware of scavengers ready to steal the flesh of their opened mussels. A pied stilt forages in the shallows for food. The ever patient heron seldom misses a strike. The rare royal blackbill spoonbills are a welcome sight. On the island, broggers are preparing to fly off in search of a happier hunting waterhole. About a kilometre downstream of the dam wall is another camping area known as the Clem Walters Park. Here we found a wider variety of wildlife including parrots and small birds congregating in the river shallows to drink and bathe. Rock wallabies and kangaroos also frequent this area for a drink. Energetic people can enjoy a bit of rock climbing. The station's cattle come here for their daily drink. Eagles, pelicans, as well as a variety of small water birds find sufficient food to survive here.
Kayakers take to the water for a different perspective of watching the wildlife and maybe catch some red claw for the pot. The white-necked heron exhibits great patience waiting for his chance for a feed. This little grebe has no problem at all catching a fish. Willy Wagtail seems spoilt for choice. Ducks and waterfowl feed off the fast-growing water grasses. Budgerigars come here in their thousands. For filming, as well as observing naked wildlife, it doesn't get much better than this. A truly memorable campsite. I hope you can make it here.